Hi, I'm Tana Sen, your state representative from the 41st Legislative District. In 1943, our country was at war. Women entered the workforce to fill vacant job openings. The price of gas was 15 cents a gallon, and a car cost $900. Even then, Washington State had the foresight to pass the Equal Pay Act that year. Fast forward to 2015. We have the first African-American president, We've sent robots over 100 million miles through space to land on an alien planet. Yet women still earn only 80 cents to the man's dollar. And the Equal Pay Act has not been updated for 70 years. Today, we are here for, and I'm testifying in favor of, the Equal Pay Opportunity Act. Fair pay is extremely important to me. As a sophomore, I'm starting to think about college and possible careers. Um, my friends and I should be able to make the most out of our futures and have the same opportunities as everyone else. Fairness and equality are bedrock values that we've been taught, and we're shocked that after all these years, after our great-grandmothers helped win the right to vote and our grandmothers and mothers fought for equal rights, we're still so far off. Women are worth more than spare change. We have made great strides in narrowing the gender pay gap, but as unequal pay persists into our new economy, we need to take a fresh look at what it takes to open doors of opportunity and fairness for all workers. Women in Washington make 78 cents on the dollar. Um, it's worse for women of color. Um, black women make 64% of what men do. That's a national uh, number. And Latinas make even less, 54%. The average Washington woman working full time ends up making $18,000 less in a year than the average man. And this is true at all educational levels and all occupations. After five years of working for this company, I still only made 10 cents above minimum wage. There were a few male coworkers who started long after me, and I knew that they made a significantly higher wage than I did, although I was more qualified. But I was afraid to talk to my manager about my wages. I am one of those many statistics. Uh, I'm a Latina woman. I am now a practicing immigration attorney. And my first year out of undergrad, I was very excited to jump into the job market. And I was offered um, a position. And months later, I learned that a counterpart had been offered the same position. He had turned it down. But he had been offered a salary 20% more than I had. And um, it was disheartening to know I was working at a very prestigious nonprofit, a, a nonprofit that stood for justice, so I thought I would um, be paid fairly. Unfortunately, I wasn't. The important consideration in today's competitive economic landscape is to get compensation right, regardless of gender. The majority of my customers are women. If they're making decent money, they can afford to do better. I'm standing up for my customers. I'm standing up for the small businesses. Um, I also have seven sisters, and half of them can tell you stories. It's systemic, and I'm of a generation that we got used to it, but my sisters that have worked for 40, 50 years know it. Information is power. Let's even the playing field to ensure that all employees have the information they need to ensure they're paid and promoted fairly. It's time we catch our policy up with the modern economy of 2015. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Please use the contact on the screen to call, email, or contact my office. Thanks so much.